So do viruses exist? Well, a few years ago, I began following um, Dr. Tom Collins' work in virology, and we're not gonna get into this in detail um, in this presentation, but I would encourage you to stretch your minds if you haven't followed any of his work and consider it, because I'll tell you, this stuff really, it, it really blew my mind. I mean, first time I heard it, I'm like, what do you mean viruses don't exist? And for me, this was just like four or five years ago. It wasn't all that long ago. Like, how could viruses not exist? You know, we've been taught for, you know, all our lives that viruses exist. That's how we get sick. Um, he presents some very good evidence. He wrote a book called The Contagion Myth that I'd highly recommend. And um, as Dee Dee said at the beginning, we're gonna be giving you some other video links um, where you can follow some of his work and uh, dive a bit deeper into this. Because I think when you really consider what he's saying, um, it kind of kind of makes a lot of sense and and explains a lot of why why we are where we're, where we're at in medicine and why things like these recommendations that we're going up against just don't make uh, a lot of sense. So in short, um, Dr. Cowan he he proposes that there's never been a true virus isolation. Um, what is typically done is you take an exudate from a sick person or animal, so like snot or something from the nose, um, diarrhea from a dog with fully par parvo or something like that. It's processed by adding antibiotics to prevent bacterial contamination and a culture to supposedly grow it. And then they take this toxic soup and look at it under a microscope and they find some object in there and they point to it and say, look, there's the virus. It really proves nothing. The, the way to truly prove that that's a virus and the stuff that's never been done is they would do another isolation where that thing they're pointing at is taken out and it's identified all by itself with nothing else in there. And then it's demonstrated that that organism or whatever it is can make another animal or person sick. That would be how you would definitely prove that viruses exist. And um, according to Dr. Cowan's data, this has never, ever been done. Um, never. Hard to believe, right? 